right, so I know y'all read the title. In this video, I'm gonna be going over my whole room and giving y'all an updated tour. The last time I gave y'all a tour of my room was last year, and at that time, I was out in a different room. So a lot has changed, and I've got so many upgrades. Now, enough talk, let's get the video started. All right, so obviously, I have a lot to go over, but to start off, I think I'm gonna show you everything uh, around the room, not just the setup. I'll show the setup later. I'm gonna start on this side of the room and then kind of make my way around. Now, this is my floating bed. First of all, I did not buy this bed. Me and the help of my dad built this together. The exact dimensions, but it's basically just a bunch of wood. And then we drilled the dimensions and then we got a pallet and set it down first. Then we essentially made another pallet that was larger and put it on top. What that does is make it look like there's a floating illusion. And then we just put uh, LED strips on the underside of the bed. I really like how it turned out and we also just painted it black. But for my bed, it, the comforter, it was from Walmart. It's just a gray like neutral uh, comforter it's really cheap actually it's real thin it's not really anything expensive and it's kind of like flippable reversible and so it comes with that lighter gray and then but beyond that that is the darker gray and now i get a lot of hate for these pillows normally i just have two on the bed like these two i think and then i just put them right here but yeah I have three pillows i have like a uh what do you call it a my pillow yeah my pillow and then I just have those. I got those from Walmart too. Yeah, that's basically the bed. It's pretty cool. It's actually like one of the coolest beds I've ever really seen besides those ones that have the little light on the back. I like those. Those are really cool to me. But anyways, this is my nightstand. It's from Ikea. So far, it's been about a year, I think, since I've had it and it's held up pretty well. Obviously, it's not like the most durable or anything. I think it was like 80 bucks, but it has like these dents. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. There's some dents and stuff in it. But yeah, uh, it's been working out really well and it looks very clean. And then I, on top of it, I just have this air humidifier, which is really nice. Now I have some like essential oils down in it and yeah, it smells really good. And then besides that, uh, we have the, it's a charger. It's like a dual charger, like phone and then Apple Watch. I think, yeah, oh yeah, AirPods, I forgot about that. And so yeah, that thing's good. The only thing I can say is that sometimes at night, I wake up and it won't charge my phone so I normally have to take it out of the case so it will actually charge and then right now I've been just using this cord that plugs into the back and just plugging it to my phone so I don't risk anything yeah and now uh, I guess I'll go over here this is just a plain uh, black rug I, it was $33 to die I'm pretty sure I also got this around last year and I had it in my old room and it just looked really nice and it's made, kind of complemented the black and white theme. The only bad thing I have to really say about it is that it gets very dirty. Here, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell but there's stuff all in it. And it was really bad at one point where there was like bugs almost even like spiders and stuff that would get in it and trash and dirt and everything like that. And we've shook, shaken it out and it still is like really dirty but yeah. Okay, so now up here, I had these uh, posters, the motivational posters. I also got these last Christmas, so about like almost exactly a year ago, a little over. And yeah, this one says leader, and it has like the definition, or not the definition, but just like a saying. And then this one's confidence, and then perseverance. So yeah, these are really cool, and obviously I really like them because the black and white theme. But yeah, coming over here, I had this uh, poster from... Iconify, if you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I unboxed these posters, and yeah, so I hung that one up there. And now coming on this wall is uh, some blackout curtains. These are really nice because I have this huge window, obviously. And I can uh, put down those blinds, but it's still super bright in here. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure these are from Walmart also. And when I have them all put together, it makes the room super dark, which is a must when I'm sleeping, especially in the weekends. Yeah, these look really cool, and I, they also match the black theme. And obviously, I didn't buy this, but this window is really cool. I just started opening it, like, without the blinds and putting it all up. And it brings a lot of natural light in. And right now, it's actually raining. Oh, shoot. Alright, anyways. Uh, over here is a TV. This is actually not a funny story, but... This TV was in my uh, garage for like a very long time and I needed an extra TV to play on my Xbox 
So I saw it out there and I was like, okay, let me try to hook it up because my parents said it was broken, but it wasn't even broken. And so yeah, this thing was really dusty, but I cleaned it all up and I just connected it uh, to like a Roku thing. And yeah, it's been really good. When I'm about to go to bed, I usually just lay here and then watch the uh, Roku or whatever, uh, YouTube normally. Now what's uh, holding it up is this FlexiSpot desk. Also, if you watch one of my other videos, I think it was when I moved rooms, you n saw me build build this whole thing. This thing, it goes like up and down. It's electric. But yeah, sometimes it's really strong when it goes up and down. So sometimes uh, there's stuff that will be in the way and it will like crush it because how much it goes up. And it can hold like over 300 pounds, like almost 400. So that's crazy. Let me turn on my fans. getting really hot in here. But yeah, and then obviously right here, I have this big uh, softbox light. I actually had two of these and they came off from Amazon and they were actually only like $50 for two of them which is really really a good deal. One of them broke so I don't want to tell my mom because she does not know that. Uh, so mom if you're watching this video I don't think you'll be that mad but anyways yeah uh, I usually just keep it right there and then when I'm doing videos for like TikTok usually uh, I'll have it when I'm talking so it will show my face and then I'll have this set up in the background. All right, now is this mini fridge. Uh, this is another sponsor. It's actually really cool. I'll use this when I move out to college or whatever and have a dorm, even though that's in a long ways. But right now I have some Dr. Peppers up in there uh, and then I have waters and Gatorade. But yeah, and there's like a bunch of different temperatures you can put on. Uh, I think this one's like 30 degrees, what it's on right now. And then there's a light right here I can turn off and on. And then over here is where I put all my uh, stuff to charge, pretty much. There's this big charging device back here. And then I had this uh, iPad from when I was really young that my sister, little sister uses sometimes. And I have my scripts on there. And then uh, my mic and XLR that I connect when I have my camera on the tripod when I talk on my videos. So yeah, that just stays right there. But yeah, then over here I have this very blank pegboard i still don't have any like those clamps to put on and so i need to get some of those from amazon and then i need to display some of my keyboards because i have multiple keyboards that are in my closet from sponsors that i can't put up because i'm using my shoes for over there so yeah i really want to get those hung up over here so yeah that's a really cool spot though i like how it fits and then over here is my closet obviously i'm not going to take y'all in there because it's a big mess now moving on to this little area that's my door that I walk in from like the house or whatever. Up here I have like a little framed poster of, it's supposed to be like God's or Jesus' uh, thumbprint. And it has like all these verses from the Bible, which is like really cool. I've had this for a long time as well. This was like one of my first posters I ever hung up. But yeah, this is like really cool. And so I decided to put it right there. It fits perfectly again. Like that, it was over there and it didn't fit as good. So I put it back over here. And then right here, I have one of those Ozarpa uh, portable gaming monitors. But yeah, and then over here, we had this cube shelf. Now I'm going to get to what, what y'all are actually waiting for, and I know why y'all clicked on this video. Maybe some of y'all actually wanted to see my other part of my room, because I know y'all have already seen the setup. But yeah, now I'm going to show y'all. This is where, obviously, I make all my content from. First, I'm going to show y'all my PC. This thing is an absolute beast. This thing is running a 4060 which isn't the craziest for like the motherboard the motherboards a nzxt b650e and then i have 32 gigabytes of corsair ram ddr5 and then i had this aio it was from a sponsor and then i bought these fans myself they were like 180 for just two packs which is crazy but they're land lee uh fans i think they're the 2.0s i forgot yeah and then the most crazy thing to me personally about this PC is that it has four terabytes of storage now I would never just buy four terabytes so I mean if I needed it but me personally I do not need to use that much but luckily uh, new egg actually sponsored me and sent out four so I mean that is way more than enough that I need I think I've used like 13% of it maybe even less like so yeah that's crazy so most of this stuff was actually sponsored uh, like the GPU from Galax, they sponsored me, and then uh, the uh, storage, and then the AIO. So yeah, I didn't spend too much, but all uh, in all, I think it was about 
$2,000, which is crazy. And obviously, it's all packed in the uh, NZXT H9 Flow. Not the Elite, but the Flow. Anyways, that's it for my PC. Now for my desk, I had the IKEA uh, Ek back in. Yeah, Ek back in. And then two Alex drawers. I kind of wish I would have got, like, black Alex drawers. But, I mean, the, the white all connects together. So, I think it's good that I just have white ones. And then, like, a lot of y'all have probably seen, I had these desk risers from amazon i think they're like 12 dollars, and i have them on both sides so it just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion and then i had this uh leg like a support leg i bought the wrong one at the time and this one is not adjustable i know people will tell me it is and it only unscrews but it barely it unscrews like this much so i had to build this like a little block and my dad helped me uh find the dimensions and then so that just keeps it supported or whatever which is like one of the smallest not smallest but small things i think make the setup look really clean is i had this rope light that is on the floor behind the setup and it just makes the setup look just look so good and it goes all through back back there and it's kind of just uh bunched up back there i don't know if y'all can see it's hard to show and then for my keyboard uh this is the from yunzi it's their a71 i think al uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called. AL71, something in that order. But I had keycaps from my Yunzi YZ75, which is right down here. And I took them off and put them on this one. And yeah, I think it looks really clean with the black and white design. Here's a little sound test. These sound like, this is probably my best sounding keyboard. It's... I don't know if y'all can hear that too good, but yeah, that is, it sounds really nice. And it's the heaviest keyboard out of all of them. Normally, I had like these puck lights under that give like a bunch more light. But currently, this is like the only one that works. Or in that one too, because all the other batteries are dead. But yeah, over here, I have all my shoes. These are like the reverse gray fogs, I'm pretty sure. Now and down there, there's a Chicago splits or whatever. And then, yeah, these are... I really like these. These are all my shoes I have. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, on top of the, the what's sitting on top of these is the uh, IKEA black shelf. It's weird how they. This is also an IKEA black shelf up there, and it's weird how they call them both black shelves. Then up here I have these uh, fake plants. A lot of like white themes, even black theme setups. I think plants look really well in. And then I have my football helmet. I recently got this one for next season, and I got like some mouthpieces. If any of you football fans out there or played football y'all y'all probably knows what this is but yeah football is like one of my biggest things that i do should i put it on uh. yeah this thing looks really clean though i really like how it looks went over that oh yeah and then these are some more of the iconify posters these things look sick and before i had nothing up there so it just completes the area and then for my speakers i had the logitech uh i don't know what they're called exactly i got them years ago these have, i've been using these since my first setup but yeah these have worked been working well and then i had this led clock and then for my mic that i use to sometimes voice over videos is the mono pd 200x i have it just connected to my pc to the back of my computer and it's on a fifine boom arm and then i have a pixio or pixu 64 uh, led pixel screen and then i have this monitor light bar that gives off nice light i got, also got this from a sponsor quintus and for my monitors this is the pixio uh 259 yeah and they also sent that to me and this has been sick and then this is uh, a monitor for my friend actually we traded lucas if you're watching this thanks for the uh, monitor for some reason on camera it looks yellow right now but it really isn't and then over here I have just an old Samsung monitor at 60 hertz. This is like 144 to 175, and then this is 280. Oh yeah, and then back here, I don't want to forget this. I have these Govi uh, light ropes, and I have them going across behind my uh, shelves, obviously, and then I have them up going down there. But yeah, I think over I went over the whole setup. The only thing I didn't go over was those panels. These are just white hexagon panels. I made just like a honeycomb design almost almost like the shape of the hexagons now obviously i could show you all in these drawers but it's really just junk like i'm well not junk but like remotes and stuff like that i have a candy drawer wrong one wrong one Woo. i just got some of these from the a gas station today they can't wait to eat some more of those these are like one of my favorite candies right now peace he wanted to eat some candy 
He demands so much attention. If I put my hand away right now, he's gonna put his paw on me. Oh, he's already trying to do it. Okay, let me put it away. He's gonna jump on me or put a paw. Oh, he jumped. Say hi, Ace. Oh my, not the camera. So I think that is going to be the end of this video. If you made it this far, you already know you gotta comment Ace. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate uh, y'all's feedback from my last video I just posted three days ago. Uh, it already has like 5,000 views, which is crazy for t two days. Shoot, a car just passed and my window is like all open. They're gonna see me holding this camera and they're going really slow. Oh, no, that's my mom. Oh, shoot. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's my mom. Back to what I was saying, uh, I, I hadn't posted, posted a YouTube video in six months, which was terrible, but then it started to blow up. And then so I posted another one and it's done pretty good. You know, thank y'all for all the support. It's just been crazy. Planning on uploading about uh, one time a week, maybe one time every two weeks. So yeah, the only thing is I don't have a lot of uh, video ideas, which I didn't think of. So if y'all want to see something or have video ideas that y'all would want to see, obviously, comment down below, please. That that would mean a lot. I want to know y'all's feedback and what y'all think y'all would like to see or what content y'all like to see. I really don't know if I recorded so much or if I'm not going to have enough footage. But yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I want to thank y'all so much for the support again and for watching. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuce. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, mention. If you want to, if you want to, I mean, it takes up no time really for you and it helps me a lot. You can like and subscribe maybe even if you like my videos that much. But yeah, see you on the next one.